What's, What's up, up everyone? It's Danny and Nick. Today we are going to be motivating you to start your YouTube channel. We just made a video all about the tips on starting your YouTube channel, which were more technical. This is more the motivation that we wish we had when starting our YouTube channel. We have this thought, we hear everyone say, we wish we started earlier, we wish we would just do it, but I'm scared. And you need to get past that and just do it. Literally Seriously. just do it because there's nothing that should be holding you back. And this video is going to be all the motivation you need to just go for it. The only thing holding you back is your mind. That's the only thing you have all, you're scared because of what other people are going to think of you or that it might not work out or, you know, I don't have the right equipment, whatever it might be. There's so many excuses you can make, but you really are just holding yourself back and you can get past all those excuses and just actually start making videos. YouTube is such a good platform to just share your ideas, be as creative as you want, create what you want. Put those videos out there, talk about something that you really want to talk about, and then you make connections with what you're passionate about. So if you're making a video about how to do hairstyles and people are coming to your video about hairstyles, they're interested in it and they have the same interest as you, which is a really great way to meet people. Be careful of who you're meeting online because sometimes it can be not the right people, but in general, it's a great way to interact with people with similar interests that you have. A big thing that holds people back are their looks. People think they don't look good enough, or they're not skinny enough, or they're not funny or cool enough, and you are brilliant. You are perfect the way that you are. People are going to love you for your personality and for the way that you look, so don't let that hold you back, because I know that was holding me back. I was nervous that people were gonna say, oh, your hair's red, or <laughs> something <laughs> stupid like that that shouldn't let me get bothered but those things do bother me and I just have to learn that yes my hair is red and there's nothing I'm gonna do about it I'm gonna keep it the way that God made it I like your red hair thanks babe see some people like the things that you don't and they're going to encourage you and if people are discouraging you then you need to move on from those people because people who discourage you are no good people might discourage you because they're looking in your best interest they'll say like well, you need to do what everyone else does, get the cookie cutter job. No, don't listen to them. Do what's going to make you happy. You wanna make videos, make videos. You wanna be a creator, be a creator. Do what you want. You don't have to quit your job right away or ever quit your job. There's plenty of YouTubers that make videos every single day or once a week and have full-time jobs and careers you don't have to, I mean, videos do take a lot of time and effort, so you have to put that in, but if you can fit it into your other schedule and your other job, feel free to go ahead and do that. You don't have to take a huge jump to become a YouTuber and make videos. And if you're going in with the thought of, this is my full-time job and I'm going to make all of my money from this, you might be disappointed and discouraged, so that isn't the best route for everyone. You can just go in with the thought of, I wanna put my ideas out there and see what other people have to say about it and do it on your off days or after work, whatever it may be. You can do that too. This does not have to be your job. And with that same thought of it not being your job, if you go into YouTube or really anything to for making the money, you're going in it for the wrong reasons and you're probably not gonna be successful. You might be, but you're definitely not gonna be happy doing that. The reason we make videos is because we really like making videos and putting our ideas out there and you know building a community that way. So if you're going in for it for the money, it's you're going you're going at it at the wrong for the wrong reasons. That's so true. A good way to get started is to get a notebook and write down ideas of things that you would like to talk about, things you would like to create. Anything that you can think of, jot down notes, and then you're gonna need to have a notebook like everywhere you go once you start because all of a sudden you're gonna be eating like chicken noodle soup and be like, I have a great idea. So you're gonna need to write it down because you might forget it and you need to write all your good ideas down so when you go to create something, you have everything in front of you. I get my ideas in the shower, so it's like I get them and I'm like, oh my God, and I can't write it down, so it's like gotta finish up quickly and <laughs> run out and write them down, it's hilarious. If you are really discouraged and cannot bring yourself to start creating videos because of what people are going to say or do or think of you, then maybe your best option isn't to just go and blast it all over everything. Maybe you put your videos out there and don't tell anyone that you're doing it. Someone might see it. I mean, people started seeing my videos and I don't know how they started seeing them because I wasn't posting them anywhere. But then I was like, oh yeah, this is kind of cool that people are finding out what, like by the time people found out, I was ready to talk about it. When you post your first video, you might not feel comfortable, but after a couple 
and you're really passionate about what you're doing and you love creating these videos, then you'll have that encouragement and like know what to say to those yeah, people. You'll be excited about it. Yeah, you'll be excited and you'll want to tell people. One of the best things about making videos on YouTube is you're typically going to be by yourself shooting the video, however it might be, and even if you're not, you don't have to post it if you don't like the final results. You do need to post things out into the world because there is that fear of, you know, oh no, even though I love it, are they gonna love it? That's a different thing, but you get an unlimited amount of takes. You get to, you know, say what you wanna say, and if you don't like how you're sounding or whatever it might be, you have control over that, of what you're putting out there. Don't let yourself, like I said, get stuck once you find out you like the video just because of what other people think. Don't let that stop you, but you have control, a lot of control over the final product. And if you shoot a video and you don't like how it's turning out, take a step back. It's still a good idea probably, and you just need to execute it in a different way so you can come up with better ideas and execute it on a different day when you have better thoughts of how you want the video to turn out. The biggest motivation that we needed as new YouTubers was to not be discouraged because you're putting a lot of time into creating something. I mean, hours filming, hours editing to create something that we think is great and then not that many people are seeing it. And we did talk about this in our tips about creating a YouTube channel, but it's just important to reiterate to not get discouraged because it is going to take a while to build it up. Everything takes a while. I mean, building a house takes a while. They need to start with the bottom and build up just like a YouTube channel that sounds cheesy and stupid, but it's so true. It takes a while and don't be discouraged, just stick with it. Another really hard thing when you're starting out is you have this video and you might think your video is really, really good, but then you look at somebody's like video out there on YouTube and you're like, oh my God, like I thought my video was good compared to theirs, like I don't even stand up to it. And like, that's okay. For them to make that good of a video, it took them years and years and years of practice. The only way for you to get there is to put in the practice and put in the time. And you're gonna look back in a few years, even in a few months and be like, oh my God, you know, what was that trash that I made back in the day? But it, you have to do all, you know, whether it's photos, videos, whatever, you have to put in that time and then you will eventually become an expert at it. But the important thing is, if you don't think you can put out as good of stuff as what's already out there, that doesn't mean you still shouldn't put it out. You need to put it out there and you will grow along with your skills. Another really important thing, especially in a creative space, is to find a role model, like especially on YouTube, find somebody videos that you like and you'd like to make these types of videos, whether they be travel videos or tutorials, you know, tutorials or beauty. Beauty, whatever it might be. Find people in that space that you look up to and not that you're trying to copy that their, copy their style because nobody likes a copycat, but at the same time, like, you know, tr if they're being successful in a space, try to do some of the things and the habits that they have that you might have picked up from their videos and start trying to emulate those things. Um, not from a creative standpoint, obviously, like I said, don't steal their creative stuff because that's copying. But, you know, if they have good habits and they're doing certain things, maybe you should try to do those things. If they, you know, Something read simple, this book, like maybe... travel feels. You look up to them because he travels the world. Okay, right. well, I want to travel the world. So find out how you can travel the world. Right. You don't need to take his style and do the videos that he does and go to the places he goes. You can do what you want with it, but you know that you look up to him because of traveling. So right. then you have to find a way to travel. Something like that. To end off this motivational video for you guys is to just love yourself. Be proud of who you are, the way you look, what you're creating, everything, just love it and embrace it. And that will bring you a long way because you'll be so proud of what you're accomplishing. And if you're proud of yourself, then what the other people who are discouraging you say won't matter because you'll just have so much self love for yourself that you'll just be illuminating your world. I hope this video was really helpful in motivating you to start your YouTube channel. If you need more technical tips on how to start your YouTube channel, we'll link that video right here. We'd love to connect with any new YouTubers Maybe this video helped motivate you and you want to give us a little background on your story. Leave a comment down below. We'd love to check out your videos as well. While you guys are down there, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.